Hello! This video is an advanced guide to Flight of Nova orbital stations. Uh, I call it an advanced guide not because you need to know a whole lot about orbital mechanics or really about anything, but because it's uh, exploring something about the game that you don't really need to do, which is uh, getting to orbital stations quickly. So I thought that would be a fun thing to talk about. It's something I like to do, uh, but the game doesn't really encourage you to do that. Um, anyway, I just want to show you this technique that I found for getting to orbital stations quickly. You can notice I have advanced mode turned on. For the EX-5, I actually recommend 550 kilometers. For the shuttle, 600. The reason I have mine set to 570 is that I'm just going to play around a little bit on the launch and fly through this arch here. So I'm adding a few kilometers um, to let the station catch up while I do that. And this method uh, is very dependent on getting the launch timing pretty uh, accurate and also the launch profile uh, that is which way you point and which angle you're at at various altitudes and I'll go over that as we uh, fly here but first of all let's just have a little bit of fun permission to buzz the tower yeah there we go all right get back facing east and point directly up 90 degrees angle of elevation. And as we pass about 10 kilometers or so, start to angle down sharply. With the intent of being at about 40 degrees pitch angle at around 20 kilometers. And then about 10 degrees per 10 kilometers after that. So 30 degrees, 30 kilometers, 20 degrees, 40 kilometers, 10 degrees, 50 kilometers. And you'll see as our orbital parameters come up that we're already way overshooting the height of the station. That's fine. This is a technique for speed, not for fuel efficiency. I'm just correcting the inclination though. And we are facing flat towards the horizon, zero pitch angle, and we should get our anti-local vector here pretty soon. This is why the technique depends so much on proper timing. We really need that, there it is, anti-local vector, and the technique is basically, or the trick is basically, uh, yeah, the trick is basically to put the anti-local vector right below our pilot seat. That makes it pretty easy to get into this situation where we just have to pitch up and quickly correct while we're in our ascent before we get to the station. Put that local vector over the top of the station and we are running out of time, we gotta slow down. In terms of when to start slowing down, I prefer to multiply the speed by 10. That's just a rule of thumb. So, for example, you know, a uh, thousand meters per second relative velocity starts slowing down at about 10 kilometers distance. In this case, I uh, was a little bit worried because I thought we were too slow, so I got ahead of myself, but that's fine. We'll just wait for about two kilometers and then start slowing down. station took about four minutes so that's pretty much the technique hope that was helpful but I am gonna just demonstrate one other thing here which sometimes happens during these high-speed maneuvers you may lose track of where the station is 
So this screen can help you do that. This is a 360 degree uh, field of view radar screen. And you can see the station. You can also see the sun. The station is the tiny little dot that's right now in the top left of the inner box. That inner box is your field of view. So as that dot comes into the inner box, you should be able to start seeing the station as we put that that dot right in the middle of the inner box you can see the station there and it's pretty hard to see from this angle huh in the black of space it's actually easier to see that little dot on the radar screen than it is to see that station so that's something to keep in mind if you're uh, disoriented I'll just demonstrate that again once we get up close here. Okay, we're right next to the station, but oh no, we've lost our situational awareness. Where did the station go? Is it over here? No, it's not over there. Not up there. Now we're completely disoriented. I have no idea where the station is. Better check the radar scope. Oh, we're in the shadow of it. There it is. Upper left, or upper right, I mean. It's gonna be up here somewhere. There it is. Alright, so that was just a quick guide, um, I hope that was helpful, if it was, please let me know if you're interested in more. Uh, I think my next advanced guide would be about launching to higher altitude stations, a thousand kilometers or so, uh, and maybe inclined launches. Hope that was helpful, and have fun!